you see uh doc's last video it's either oscar worthy performance or something is legitimately concerning i i saw it man and i, and I a lot of you were asking about doc i kind of commented on it earlier um summary of where i'm at i don't know any more than you and i'm just waiting for a statement from someone and uh we'll see what happens yeah i don't know chat when i was talking to doc he just said all he said was he was talking to twitch to figure out what happened that's it damn what the fuck that that was all that was all he said to me was like I, when i messaged him i was like like what's going on he goes i don't know i'm talking to twitch that's all he told me so i don't know anything other than that sounds pretty i don't know we'll see man damn it's hard not to, it, it, it's hard too because i feel like it's pretty easy to just jump to conclusions and stuff and i i yeah you know, that's what I'm and, and just with everything like... happening too you know try not to you don't want to jump to conclusions but i mean we'll see what happens i guess wow damn i hope he's fucking i hope he's good i hope he is too i i've said this uh i said this in my chat i'm just like if he is permanently banned for like something stupid you know what i mean like i've seen some shit on twitch i'm pretty sure we all have. right i mean and I, they and like nothing has happened like i scroll down the irl section every single day and i'm like wow this should not be on twitch right but then i go i go like a week well, later twitch, and I, see it again. I think like, one okay. of the problems is, is twitch's banning system is kind of just all over the place like some people get banned some people don't oh, get no, banned it's, so it's like twitch's, when you see when you see doc's banned it's like well yeah it's, it's utter trash right I, I mean stuff. right so it's like okay he's banned i mean people get banned all the time you know, I mean, yeah. the whole ba that bathroom thing, he got banned. So it's like, you know, I, I don't know. So I was like, maybe it was a maybe it maybe it was strike. something like that. But like, maybe it's something it's... simple, but it's hard because. I don't know, bro. We'll see what happens. There's just a lot of bullshit that we see and nothing gets done. And then it's something like I wonder if it's something like one of those bullshit incidents and then something actually happens. You know what I mean? Like something actually got done. A while ago, the gaming world was rocked by a couple of bombshells. If you didn't know, you must have been living in a cave somewhere. The first big piece of news was that Mixer, the third largest streaming site, was shutting down and since has shut down. And the big time streamers on Mixer were offered nearly double their current contract to come over to Facebook Gaming. With Microsoft partnering with Facebook, some streamers have opted to go back to Twitch or YouTube instead. Meanwhile, bigger names in the industry have yet to make their decision. A few days after that happened, Dr. Disrespect, the old face of Twitch, now it seems, was banned. Leaving his current multi-year contract that he signed just a few months ago in March, cancelled, or at least up in the air currently. Twitch, since then, has offered nothing more but a generic statement, giving no specific reason why he was banned. Keeping the conversation here with Twitch, you know, Twitch has lost so many streamers over the past two years in particular up until now. And I'm not just talking about from a contract perspective, like with Ninja and Shroud just leaving for bigger money, okay? Just from an overall standpoint, so many people have just flat out left. Sure, some people are coming back now because of what's happened with Mixer. But over the years, it really has been just one thing after another when it comes to this platform. And the big problem or big topic that hardly anybody is willing to talk about is what Twitch has intentionally been doing over the past few years or has allowed on their platform. Before I even get started with that, I'll just mention this. I've been one of those people on YouTube that have never given a fuck about other people's feelings, their opinion, or whatever. I have done several videos calling people out on their bullshit, whether it's exposing people or gaming-related companies. All of that has been a pretty big piece of the puzzle on my channel. And today, I'm going to take it a step further, because somebody has to say something. Twitch has become a platform that I simply cannot take seriously anymore. It has been... A platform that embraces and builds upon the sexual 
element or whatever. You, you guys know what I'm talking about if you have been on Twitch before. It's a site that also bans people and gives no reason behind it, but yet they simply never ban the right people that need to be banned in the first place. I can't tell you how many times I have just went into a random person's stream for the first time and that individual is doing or talking about something that is 100% inappropriate, especially in front of an audience that has thousands of people watching. And just out of curiosity, can anybody tell me what the average age of a Twitch user is? I'll just tell you now, nearly half the Twitch user base is 17 or younger. That statistic is based off of third-party sites that do not go off of Twitch's grid. And Twitch, their policy as far as age limits, nobody obeys that. It's a site that supports female streamers overwhelmingly over most male streamers. And I really don't give a shit if people have a problem with me saying that. It's the fucking truth. Just because some people refuse to talk about it or refuse to open up their eyes, they expect nobody else to say anything. Sorry, I'm not going to do that. I call bullshit when I see it, okay? If you don't like it, then go watch a 30-year-old man with pink hair play Fortnite, okay? Twitch is just simply a platform where the biggest assholes, the fakest people, and the biggest bitches that have 10 pounds of makeup on thrive for the most part. I mean, ask yourself this. When is the last time that you watched, followed, subscribed, or donated to a really ugly chick or a fat girl? Never. Don't, don't even fucking lie to me. We all know that that has never happened before, okay? The point I'm alluding to right here, I mean, look, look at how many hot chicks are now famous on Twitch that have thousands and thousands of people come watch their stream every time. And I mean, come on, how many of those hot chicks are flat out savages at whatever video game they play if they have a gaming related stream? How many of them dominate every fucking game they play, every round? I don't know about you, but I can't think of that many. Majority of them solely get by off of their looks. Some of them flat out exploit that shit and push the boundaries pretty far. Now, and ask yourself this question. If you are a gamer, how many top-notch players can you name? Either people that you play with, have played against, or watched. And I get it, that might be a pretty big number, but stay with me here. Of those players that have attempted to stream on Twitch that you know about, how many of them made it big, big time on Twitch? How many? This is just my personal take on it, but I've met hundreds of people, either through competitive play in the past, friends online, or just people that I've ran into and searched their name later on, that I could say, yeah, this person is better than almost all of the community out there. Oh, they have a Twitch channel. I'll click on that. Oh, okay. They have 20 recent streams. I'll look to see how many followers they have. And go figure, they have less than 200 followers. Unfortunately, this is how Twitch works. The community on Twitch goes for the hot blonde that can't game. Twitch does not reward the people that put in the time, the effort, or how skilled they are at the game. Twitch rewards those that look good and they never ban the right people. I have played against some of the best players out there, and that is not a light statement at all. Back in the day when Call of Duty was booming, I can name 20, 30 players, even some that I flat out hate, that I no longer talk with, that simply should have made it big time on Twitch just because they were that good. They tried, and they never made it. Unfortunately, like I said, that's how Twitch works. You can disagree with me, but no, I, I've seen it go that way too many times with other people. And I might even throw myself into that category. Up until six months ago, I was streaming so hard on that platform. I still do every once in a while, man, but I, I'll tell you, it's way better to never expect anything on there unless you're a hot chick that likes putting on 10 pounds of makeup every day. The good players don't get rewarded. And back to what I was saying earlier, there are people that flat out abuse 
the stage that they have been given on that platform. Many streamers, just to put it simply, should never be allowed to broadcast again. I have seen and heard of people faking being in a wheelchair, women that obviously signed up for Twitch but should have signed up for Pornhub. And I mean, there's other shit that is way out of bounds, like some people doing lines of cocaine during the middle of a Twitch stream. No joke. You think I'm kidding, but I'm not. Twitch in 90% of those situations, with the exception of the cocaine incidents, did nothing. The only times I have ever seen Twitch drop the hammer immediately has been on Dr. Disrespect, which has happened two or three times now. And there have been times where it takes them 20-30 minutes to shut down a stream when some fucking nutcase is just doing a shooting and they end up live streaming it on the platform. And that's a whole new conversation right there, but bottom line, Twitch is broken. There needs to be a better filter. The people at the top of the chain simply need to get off their ass and ban the people that need to be banned. The streamers that abuse the privilege that they have been given need to be banned. And publicly state why they have been banned. There does not need to be a huge cover-up or all this built-up drama that ends up getting dragged on for far too long. That's all I really wanted to say. I'm not trying to look at it with a negative attitude, but... My God, some of this shit has to change. There are some very good people, very good players out there that give it their all and they never make it. I'm not saying everyone should make it, but hey man, it, it would be nice to see some good players, some good people, some small streamers get rewarded every once in a while at least. It's all just a very unfair system and I, and I would love to see that change eventually. Anyways, you guys have a great fucking day. Thanks for listening. Stay safe and God bless. We'll see ya. Oh. Oh. Is this, is this cleavage? Is this, is this what you're so scared of, Twitch chat? Cause look it. I get to touch it all I want. Oh my God. Oh my God. Boobs. 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 Oh my God. They're attached to my body. Can you believe it? Whoa. Okay, now that we got that over with, next question. Now that King and now, King now is doing a fundraiser for St. Jude on his stream. You should follow the link. You should donate to St. Jude cuz kids have cancer, but obviously I think people should know by now. I'm going to be honest cuz I was a bio major and you should listen to me, but Children that have cancer are going to die, and they're meant to die. I'm sorry, but if you get cancer, and I'm not being mean, I'm not being an asshole, and I, I think all of us know a child in our family or secondary family that has died of it, but the reason why children under the age of 10 get cancer is because they have something genetically wrong with them. And that just means something really, really, really awful happened during the genetic sequencing of their bodies. And their, their fucking proteins that were supposed to catch that mistake didn't catch the mistake. And now here we are, and we do not have the fucking technology yet to do it. But, yes, you should donate to perhaps further the research for the technology to to help these kids but i'm gonna be honest with you those kids i'm not a monster i'm literally telling you the truth i'm telling you why they have problems 